Uh, friends, uh, today's readings offer a profound invitation to reevaluate what truly matters in our lives. St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians reminds us that our time on earth is fleeting. It's time. <laughs> he urges us to live with purpose, not becoming overly attached to worldly concerns. While we may not share Paul's sense of imminent urgency, his message rings true. Our earthly lives are a journey toward eternity. You know, for us family ministries, we prepare families for time and for eternity. We prepare flourishing families, and our hope is to build flourishing families for time and for eternity. And we are preparing ourselves, our earthly lives are that journey toward eternity. And Jesus' teaching in the Gospel of Luke challenges our conventional notions of happiness. He proclaims that blessings upon the poor, the hungry, and those who mourn while warning the woes of, for, for the rich, the well-fed, and those who laugh. These words may seem paradoxical, but Jesus is reminding us that true blessedness lies not in worldly comfort, but in our reliance on God. And it is in our moments of vulnerability that, and hardship that we are most open to His grace. And when people suffer, when they are going through undue pain or suffering, I tell them, you know, rejoice, you know, God's glory will be revealed through your suffering. For families, these teachings offer invaluable guidance. We all face challenges, financial difficulties, health concerns, loss, or strained relationships. It's easy to become discouraged or to measure our happiness by material <laughs> standards. But Jesus calls us to see these moments as opportunities to deepen our faith and trust in Him. Parents, you have the sacred task of guiding your children to a life rooted in faith. Teach them that true fulfillment comes not from worldly achievements, but from knowing and loving Christ. The best gift you can give to your children is Jesus. And children, your simple trust and openness to God's love are a beautiful reminder to us all. And today let us pray for the grace to see every moment, both joyful and challenging, as a chance to grow closer to God. Let us strive to be families that prioritize faith, love, and hope for eternal life. We are all pilgrims. We are on a dress rehearsal. You know, our ultimate home is with God. So this could, uh, this could mean starting and ending each day with family prayer or finding ways to serve others, other others in need as a family unit. May God bless you and your families and give us, may God bless our families and give us the courage to embrace his call to live for eternity. Let us pray together as a family, preferably praying the rosary to strengthen our bond and commitment living a life of faith. Amen. Amen. Amen.